This is Richard with PWE Firearms, and today I'm going to show you my 54 caliber flintlock that I'm working on. Uh, this all started, I was always kind of scared of black powder, flintlocks, muzzle loaders, whatnot. Not the modern stuff, but the traditional flint and percussions. They kind of scared the living shit out of me, like they do a lot of people. So I never kind of paid them much attention. I was watching a video from uh, Cap and Ball, and he's out of Yugoslavia, I think. And he's an extremely knowledgeable guy. If you haven't watched his stuff on YouTube, go to his channel. It's well worth the time. He does all predominantly older stuff. He does some newer stuff, too, when he gets his hands on, you know, uh, not new-new, but World War II new. <laughs> um, so he did a video on a German rifle, flintlock, rifled bore. It was, I think it was 58 caliber. And it had a 12 and 3 quarter inch barrel on it. And I'm not even going to attempt, I can't pronounce the German word for this gun. But it was a style of flintlock made in the mid to late 1700s. And... It was used for hunting on horseback. Because of the short barrel, you know, it was easy to maneuver around the horse. You didn't smack the horse in the back of the head. And I thought, man, that is just so cool. So I started doing some research on shooting flintlocks and black powder and kind of got comfortable with it a little bit and said, okay, I'm going to try. And I looked at flintlocks, and this is a Lyman deer stalker. So you have to excuse the fiber optic sights because that's how the deer stalker is in the rubber recoil pad. I will say, the rubber recoil pad does make it real comfortable to shoot. It's a 54 caliber rifled bore set up to do patched round balls. And I shoot, uh, right now I'm shooting 50 grains of black powder out of this uh, because I don't need to kick the shit out of myself. I don't need a hunting load. I'm just shooting at paper and, and steel plates and whatnot. But I was concerned when you cut the barrel down that long, you know, that short, this is 14 inches. What happens to the accuracy? And of course, because you're shorting, shortening the sight radius, you're going to lose accuracy there because the further apart your sights are, the more accurate your sights are. Uh, but shooting it and comparing because as soon as I got this gun, and it was cheap, relatively cheap, it was three or four hundred dollars when I bought it. And the whole idea was I didn't want to buy a twelve twelve hundred dollar uh, flintlock and then chop the barrel <laughs> off of it. So I figured I'm going to start with a cheap gun and we're going to see what happens. So I got it and. Ten minutes after I got it, I had it in the bandsaw, cutting that much off the barrel. I think it's uh, 10 or 11 inches I chopped off the barrel. Well, the barrel's 14, so it's probably 10 inches I cut off the barrel. Crowned it, took it out, shot it, and it shoots really well. Um, it shoots better than I do shooting a black powder because I'm still getting used to 
the whole deal of shooting a black powder, I'm getting much better. Um, so I do need to take it and target it now that I'm kind of feeling more confident in it. But this thing is an absolute hoot to shoot. I think I'm going to chop the barrel down maybe another inch or so, inch and a half, and redo the stock. Eventually, I will get a decent lock for it. This is an okay lock, but not real great. Uh, the barrel is fine. The barrel is a good barrel. Um, but I will probably make a custom stock for it and go the whole nine yards. But that is my 54 caliber short barrel uh, flintlock rifle. And since it's a flintlock muzzle loader, there's no NFA paperwork. This is not a gun. So there's no SBR paperwork on it. I can cut it as short as I want. And ATF doesn't care because it's not a real gun. This is Richard with BWE Firearms. And I hope you like and enjoyed this video and learned something along the way. With this year, 2021, with me getting stage 4 colon cancer, diabetes, and neuropathy in my hands and feet, it's getting harder and harder to work. And I have uh, come to realize my own mortality. Uh, because of that, uh, I realized that if I don't get this information out of my head and into videos or into other people's heads, uh, I will take it to the grave with me, and that does nobody any good at all. If you would, please like, share, subscribe, and comment to the video. It helps me with the algorithms. And if you would like to support my efforts in doing these videos, uh, please go to my website, bwefirearms.com, and in my shopping cart, I have an item in there where you can donate money to my efforts. And 97% uh, uh, of the money will go directly to uh, me doing these videos. 3%, of course, will go to the credit card company. I will, you know, take a dollar. I will take $1,000, whatever you feel like donating, I would greatly appreciate it, and it will help me get this stuff done. You have a nice day, and we will see you in the next video.